Hey guys, it's on here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be theming our newly installed Ubuntu desktop on this machine over here. So let's get started. Now, if you missed it on my previous video, I actually just recently installed my 1070 graphic card into this machine in hopes of turning this back into a gaming machine so I could start making videos for my gaming channel, which I'll link down in the description below, obviously for Linux. Anyway, you guys know me. If I'm going to do a fresh install of Ubuntu on a desktop, I definitely will be theming it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, this is a reference video for the future because every time when I make a video like this, you guys always question what desktop I'm using, what theme am I using, etc, etc. So I'm making this video ahead of time before we jump into it. To get started, I did my normal tweaks and fixes on this, which is dash to panel. I added my little temperature gauge over here and all this other stuff. I do have videos on what I do when I first jump into Ubuntu, what plugins I install. So you could check that out and I'll leave a link down in the description before, below for that. But one of the things I did wanted to change is my theme. Now I've been using my Dracula theme for quite some time and you guys know it's a pretty cool theme, purple Dracula. It's awesome. I'll leave a link to that as well if you guys are interested. But uh, this is a default installation of Ubuntu. And what I'm going to be doing is going over to Gnome Looks. And I found this one, this one theme, to be pretty cool. Now I'm going to go over to Rating. And this is the Orcus theme. This theme looks really nice. I really like the rounded corners now. So I'm a big fan of this right now. They also have the dark theme and a light theme. So you could choose whatever you want. Now I don't just head over to download over here. You could do it this way, but the easier way is actually just head over to his GitHub right over here. Now in his GitHub, he's gonna have all this stuff. All you have to do is just grab it. So to do that, I'm gonna pop over to my terminal and I am gonna do git clone, copy that and paste that. And I'm gonna grab the theme itself. Now he has a ton of stuff in here, especially fixes for certain things that might break in the future. So I am gonna show you that in a second. Now, while I'm in Orchid's theme, all you have to do is period slash install dot sh. Now I'll make it a little bit bigger for you guys. You see this? Hit enter and that is it. It'll actually move everything where it's supposed to be and the theme is installed. Now we're not done here because we still need to install the icon themes. So if you go back into GNOME looks into this theme itself, he uses the tele icon theme. Again, I'm gonna go right click and then expand that to a new, ta uh, new tab. And instead of having to download it from here, again, I am gonna go over to his GitHub. Now he also have an install file as well. So you could choose either or. Now I am gonna grab this. All right, I'm gonna copy this right now. Head over to this directory, which is my main root directory, git clone, paste that in, and there you go. I'm grabbing his icon themes. I'm gonna switch over to tele icon, and in here also has an install. So I'm gonna do install. It's gonna create everything you need, and that is it. Now I have both the themes installed. Now, if you don't have GNOME tweaks installed, that's how you would change the theme. So I would do sudo app install gnome tweaks just to get that prompt. Uh, I don't need to because I already did it. And also if you need to change a shell theme, head over to extensions at gnome.org and download user themes. This one I already have installed, but this allows you to change the user theme on the bottom. So with both of those already installed and done downloading, I'm just going to head over to tweaks and head over to appearances. And this is where you would change everything. So the application theme, this one I am going to be using is the orchid. You could use the normal, which looks pretty good. Uh, let's switch over to compact. This makes the title bar a little bit thinner. So if you are using on a laptop or a small resolution screen, uh, this is recommended. You have the dark, which changes everything into dark. And also the dark compact. And then you have the light. Oh, the light also changes at the top. So it's not a hybrid theme, you could say. Um, I like the regular one because it's got the easier to find 
uh, title bar on top and it's also white here. Um, as far as the icons go, we are going to use Tele Blue. I think that blends in very well. And let me see if I could pull up a thing right here. So this is the Tele Blue. If I was to Tele Dark Blue, does that refresh? No, that seems to be the same. Tele Dark. Oh, it does change. Gray. Okay. And then gray dark. I guess it changes these. Sometimes these icon needs to be a different color. But I am going to stick with the block, blue. And the last but not least, the shell theme, which I am going to use orchids. And sometimes you might have, it might screw up on how it sits and everything. So to fix that, like what I mean is like sometimes you would see the icons not in the correct position. That's because this theme is causing it not to be in the right position. You'll know what I mean if you do a fresh install and sometimes it just like jitters up. So head over back over to Orchid Theme. Head over to Source. In here there's a GNOME Shell folder. And in there, there's something called, uh, where is it? Extensions and dash to panel. You see he actually has a thing called dash to panel in here. And in here, it actually has a style sheet that will fix the font issue. So all you have to do is do that, period slash install.sh. Once it's, it's done, that's it. It'll fix the bottom now. Obviously, with all these modifications, I always say you need a really good wallpaper. And you don't have to actually look too far to find a wallpaper. They actually have one built into the theme itself. So if you go over to change backgrounds and add picture, head over to the directory that you download everything. So I have in home, orchids theme, sources, wallpaper, and here you have it. They have this wallpaper, which is a similar Mac style wallpaper. And since this screen is a 1080, I'm gonna be using this 1080 and select that as the wallpaper. And there we have it. It's actually a very, very pretty theme like this. Got this going on. I got this uh, very light theme. I love the pill look. I don't know if you would call it a pill look, but it's more like the rounded corners right now. I really like that rounded corner. And you, it kind of screwed up a little because that box was supposed to, I don't know. That was a little weird, but that seemed to have worked. Maybe I might need to reboot the machine to make it look a little bit prettier, but ultimately we are done. The orchids theme, if you like it in dark, now with the wallpaper, let's see how it looks in dark. Ooh, dark. Oh, that doesn't look too bad either. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad either. I don't know, it really depends on your style at this point. It seems like the dark looks pretty good. This theme looks pretty good. It's really up to you. And that is it, guys. This is the latest theme that I'm going to try to stick with. I do like it for now. It does have that really new, refreshed look. So it's not like a dark Dracula theme. If you guys have any questions about this, hit up and down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.